Hey everybody, it's your boy Perverted Moon. How y'all been? I missed you. Perverted Moon, you can't start the episode off. You're gonna scare everyone off. I just want to know if you're wearing your panty loafers. First off, I don't even know if that's the right voice. Second of all, what the hell are panty loafers? That sounds like if you put panties in bread. That's disgusting. You're a sick man. You're a sick man, Perverted Moon. Hi, everybody. <laughs> I'm back in Danganronpa. It's been a while, guys. I think I haven't recorded in like a month because I recorded so far ahead. But luckily, through the power of editing or having to do editing, I know exactly what's going on. Because I literally just finished the episode yesterday. Last time, I got a note under the door, shit in my pants, and then found out it's just a club meeting where we have sweet high fives and maybe a little, little, uh, sex. Wait. Consensual sex. There we go. That's more like it. <laughs> what? Whee! I wish I had a Muppet animation of Makoto just, like, skidding across. Ah! Oh, God! Oh, boy. I forgot about Taka, though. Mmm. 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 Mm. His button game is still top notch. That's always good to see. You would think if he went gangster or Mondo, in quotations, you'd think he would like be showing his nips or something. As soon as I got to the dressing room, an angry voice echoed out. Oh, frick, please don't be Kyoko or Sakura. F you. Oh, it's Taka. Okay, see, if it wasn't Taka, that meant I did something that I didn't know, and uh, Sakura's gonna break both my legs. Hey, you! How long were you gonna keep us waiting? Taka's irritated voice pierced the air as he stared pointedly at his wristwatch. D does he have a wristwatch? <laughs> Is he Stone Cold Steve Austin where he's looking at an invisible watch? Kinda singling that he's going to stunner the shit out of me? It's almost 10 o'clock! I had to look at my wristwatch because all the other clocks are a lie. You know that? Bedtime for all the good little boys and girls. Is this is this bedtime stories with Taka? Once upon a time, a little boy was sleeping in his bed and didn't go to sleep, so Macha Taka had to lay his ass down. No, Taka, don't don't elbow drop the child. Don't calm down, buddy. That little bastard looked at me funny. <laughs> Shut up! What? Would you say you want me to make you cry, little girl? <laughs> I like to imagine that Taka just kind of forgot Himafumi was a man. Taka! He seems to be even worse off than I heard. Well, maybe it's a good thing. Maybe he's finally starting to grow a personality. Like me, I have a, I have a personality of an angel. What? You got a lot of pooping falling out of that mouth of yours. You know that? What do you mean it poop out of my mouth? It, oh God, is it really? Eh, eh. What the heck? How rude, a maggot like you has no right to speak that way to our heaven-sent master. Two things, uh, Toko. Actually, three things. One, I'm glad it's you. I missed you, Toko. Secondly, forgot your baby hands. My God, you have the smallest baby hands I've ever seen. I'm pretty sure a newborn baby has bigger hands than you. You could literally only strangle an inchworm if you're lucky. I don't think they're big enough. Se thirdly, I forgot what I was talking about. I just wanted to mention the baby hands. Any, oh, all right, thirdly, aren't you pissed at Bakugan? Last time you were really mad about him breaking the secret. Now you're just all good? What, what he, what he, what he kiss you your loops? You sick. Oh. Hmm, are you back to your normal gloomy self? I can hardly keep track at this point. Uh, it's actually quite easy, Slessy. Tongue in her mouth, tongue out of her mouth. <laughs> Shut up. Hey, come on. Well, anyway, everyone's here, right? Then my messenger duty is complete. Hey. You wanted us all to meet here, right, Kyoko? So what are we doing here? How about that? Isn't it obvious? It's got to have something to do with Alter Ego, right? That's right. Yeah, totally. Did he finally find a clue? 
What is it? A way out? The mastermind's true identity? <laughs> that's... That's not... E either... <laughs> either Kyoko is secretly sick of Aoi. <laughs> and she's just like, if you don't... If you see one more word, I'm gonna snap your stupid neck. Or something bad happened. Oh, oh, you're not gonna tell me. I gotta talk to you. Let's talk here. Let's talk to. Let's talk to Toko here. What's your problem? What do you want? Am I really the one you should be talking to right now? Listen, I'm gonna take all the normal Toko I can get. Hey, fat guy, how you doing, bud? <laughs> you're such a jerk. <laughs> what I do? I hope you're talking about Taka. Ow, my feelings. This may be about alter ego, but Kyoko seems to be acting quite strange. Like I said, it's almost 10! Hurry up and spill it! A clue, a clue! We finally found a clue! Come on, we gotta ask Kyoko what it is. It is nearly night time, is it not? Uh oh! If we absolutely must converse, I would at least like to do it quickly. I'm not breaking my own rules. You all did, and I will not! Stoop to your level. Kyoko sure is taking her sweet time with this. What? What? Is whatever it is really that amazing? I'm curious as well, so long as it's not boring. Ozzy, do you really think poop falls out of my mouth? No, Baka, I really don't, I don't think. Are you sure? I'm worried. I think I gotta go to a doctor if poop goes out of my mouth. <laughs> Baka, I'm, I'm almost certain that's not a real thing. Are you, you promised? Will you pinky promise? All right, I'll pinky promise. Okay, you better not go back on my promise. If I poop comes out of my mouth, I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell the police on you. I know, I know, Baka. Calm down. Oh, sorry, Kyoko. Misfire. It's gone. Gone? I came here a little earlier to check up on things, and that's when I discovered. Alter Ego the laptop has disappeared. What? No way! You're kidding, right? Oh, um... Huh? What? She's... gone? F you! You can't be fudging serious! What you did- what you do with them? Hmm. Was it the mastermind? Did they finally notice what we were up to? Wrong. I told Alter Ego to yell if anyone he didn't recognize appeared. If it was the mastermind, I'm sure he would have alerted us. Well... Maybe we just missed it. However... I was in the laundry room right next door all day. There's no way I wouldn't have heard it. You were sleeping in the laundry room? <laughs> Uh, I like to believe she was literally hiding in a washing machine and all you saw was her eyes popping out. <laughs> but if it wasn't the mastermind, then... <laughs> the solution to this particular mystery is obvious. It could only have been him. Without a doubt. Mr. Ishimaru, you stole her, didn't you? What? What? I'm the ultimate moral compass. I would never do something like that. What's bad you say it is he's like peeing in the corner. <laughs> I don't think it counts when you say it about yourself like that. F you. You're the suspicious one here. You're nothing but a big jiggling sack of fat. <laughs> so that's what you know. This isn't my true form. I still have three more transformations left. Damnation. Uh, wait, I mean, it wasn't me. Everyone knows you're a thief. Yeah! Wrong! It's you! For serious. Well, I'm sure it was one of you. So, whoever did it, just hurry up and confess. Wrong. No. There's no way either one of them did it. Huh? Huh? Why not? So... I told Alter Ego to yell if either Taka or Himafumi came into the dressing room. What? Whew. It was a countermeasure against the clear danger that one of you might come for it. <sighs> but I never heard any yell. Indeed. Exactly. Which means it wasn't them. Hey, wait a minute. Hold on a second. Was Celeste also guard, like in guard duty? Because she wouldn't have heard it if, you know, if she was in her room. But... Then, who was it? 
So that's it. The fundamental circumstances are becoming clear. <laughs> the kid just falls out of his pants. Ah, oh, shit! Togo! Away! <laughs> that jumps on her back. Go, Togo, go! You're really heavy. Ah, oh, come on. The other one could do this perfectly fine. But then she nibbled my toes and it got weird. Oh, God, they've surrounded me. <laughs> just start pounding that shit out of them. Oh, God! If it wasn't a mastermind, even if it wasn't Talker, he would fool me. Then, quite simply, it was someone else. Hmm. Interesting. Makoto, Celeste, Sakura, Hina, Toko, or myself. One of us must be that thief. That's terrible. Why would any of us steal alter ego? Hmm. How about this for a reason? Hmm. I wanted to look at it. <laughs> I mean, one of us would have looked at it. Ah, oh, shit. There's a traitor among us. Huh? Hmm. One of us is working for the mastermind. A spy. And that's the one who stole Alter Ego. Can you deny the possibility? It, it can't be. No, Makoto, it totally can be. I was there in the cutscene. Hmm. I've actually been thinking for some time now that there might be a spy among us. <laughs> it's a spy, so weird. The mastermind brought someone in to help keep things moving smoothly. A spy for the mastermind? A traitor? No, it's impossible. Something that horrible? Yes, Makoto, we've never seen anything horrible in this school. There's no way! What? Why do you not speak? Are you stuck silent by your in inability to comprehend such a possibility? Say what? I don't care! I don't <laughs> care! Like... Who? Someone, anyone, save her. Please rescue her. I'm begging you. I just want to see her smiling face again. Damn it! Same here. How many times do they have to kill Bro before they're happy? I'll beg, I'll scrape my head across the ground. Just please give him back. So, um... This is pretty messed up, but still, I think I kind of get how they feel. At the very least. I think Alter Ego is most likely still safe. For the moment, at least. Yes, indeed. If they wanted to destroy it, they wouldn't have taken it. They would have done it right here. I see. So you're saying whoever did it has something else in mind for him. Alright, let's take some, some, uh, like, theories here. Who, out of all these people, who would be the one to be, like, the spy? It was me. <laughs> I gotta say, that sure would be a twist if Makoto was the spy. So you're saying whoever did it has something else in mind for him? Something else? Damn it! That doesn't matter. Nothing. Nothing else matters. <laughs> no matter what it takes, I'm gonna get him back! That's my promise as a man! I swear, I will save her! Using the power of Hmm. It's night time. There is nothing to be done. It is unfortunate, but we will have to leave the search for tomorrow. For now, everyone gets some sleep. <laughs> How can you be so casual? We don't have time to wait around. <sighs> what good are you if you are too tired? You will be much more effective after the good night's sleep. Who gives a crap about effective? We're talking about our feelings here! Calm down. Anything we do at night brings a higher chance of the mastermind noticing us. Celeste is right. We should begin our investigation tomorrow morning. What do you think, Makoto? I agree with you. If we run around tonight in a panic, the Mastermind is sure to notice, and we won't get anything done. Taka, Himafumi, I know how you feel right now, but... It's best if, just for tonight, 
you can try to endure it. This is fine. Okay, let us part for today. We will begin our search for Alter Ego in the morning. And you should think about what I said. Someone may very well be spying for your mastermind. Alter Ego, gone as quickly as he appeared. We finally discovered some small measure of hope, but even that was taken away from us, and we couldn't even put up a fight. We were given hope. <laughs> Sorry, every time I talk about hope, I just find a smidge of ironic humor. And then when that hope was taken away, despair. It's just like, just like the mastermind is doing to us. Then, could it really be true? Whoever stole Alter Ego, could they really be working for the mastermind? If that's true. No, it can't be. There's no way. Makoto, holy shit. How many times have we been here in your room? If I had a dollar for every time it goes like, it can't be true. Oh shoot, it's 100% true. Every freaking time. I didn't even realize I yelled that out loud. Well, everything's soundproof, who cares? The scary thing isn't the idea of someone spying on us. What really scary is the idea that we're starting to doubt each other again. That scares me more than anything. Damn it. I threw myself into the bed <laughs> like a pouty teenage girl trying to shake off all those unsettling thoughts before long I fell into a restless sleep hey guys well let's see what he has to collect this time that's boring you already had that murder is a word whose definition changes with time with place with society if murder is evidence of abnormality, then all of history's greatest heroes must have been abnormal. Sometimes, the murders that people forgive are way more abnormal than the ones they don't. Hmm. Today, we have to look for Alter Ego. Okay, first things first, turn that ego! Oh, I don't get to move. I guess we're just going there. I found myself in surprisingly high spirits and hurried to the dining hall. But when I found out what was waiting there for me... Uh oh, it's gonna be like 10 dead bodies. <laughs> there wasn't even that many people. Hmm. Is this it? What happened to the others? Hmm. Aren't they coming? There were only three people in the dining hall. Sakura... Hina and Kyoko. So, including me. Only four people? God, this is why I hate people who take their sweet time with everything. However. Anyway, let's wait a while longer for the others. So, we decided to wait in case anyone else showed up. But no matter how long we waited, So, it's 8 o'clock. We've been waiting a full hour. Why haven't the others come? Because it's 8 o'clock in the morning. No sane person wakes up and eats breakfast that time. <laughs> Alright, just you, bud. Hero and Celeste have never missed a day till now. And what I'm really worried about is Himafumi and Taka. They were more eager than anyone to look for Alter Ego, and they're not here. It can't be. Something must have happened. Huh? It would seem... I was careless. I was too distracted by Alter Ego. But Monokuma gave us a motive. There was no way something would have happened eventually. Monokuma's motive? Ten oh. million dollars! I, uh... 100% forgot about this. <laughs> I've prepared this graduation present for whichever lucky student makes it out of here alive. 
What do you think? It's 10 million bucks! 10 million smackaroos! It's like totally wowie wow wow, am I right? Don't tell me someone did something for money! That's what I wanted to say, but I didn't bother. <laughs> Imagine you just slumped on the, the table, it's all so sad. I already understood. I understood, and I hated that I did. You can never really know another person completely. Anything can happen here, and you can't consider it strange. Not really. Hey. We need to go look for the people who never showed up. Hmm. Okay, let's go track them down. Without another word, we left the dining hall. Hey. We can cover more ground if we split up. Sakura, you go check the dorms. Make sure to check all of our rooms. Makoto, you check the first floor of the school. Meanwhile, I'll check the second floor. Okay. Okay, then I guess I'll check the third floor. Anyway. Don't take any risks. If anything happens, call for help right away. But... I really hope nothing happens. So do I. Well then. Okay, so let's go! Anxiety was written across each of our faces as we went our separate ways. Without hesitating, I rushed to the first floor of the school. Okay, I need to look around the first floor. Oh boy, where's the dead body? Is there a dead body back here? No, just Bakugan hiding. Don't you bother me! This black barn belongs to us now. The dead body? There's no dead bodies here. Looking for a dead body. Kinda having fun. It's like a Where's Waldo game for a dead body. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, we found Waldo. Someone, come here. What? That was Hina. She's supposed to be checking. The third floor. There was no time to think. I was running for the stairs before I knew what was happening. Makoto, let's face facts. If anyone was probably there, Sakura probably jumped through the ceiling. <laughs> oh boy, oh boy, guys. Oh gosh, there's someone who's gonna be dead. Oh, please don't be fat guy. Oh, don't be Taka. Oh, there's so many people. I don't want to be dead right now. Oh, unless it's Toko. If it's Toko, I'm okay. <laughs> I flew up the stairs leading to the third floor. Right away, I saw her standing there in the hallway. Please. Makoto. Hina, what's wrong? Oh, boy. It's <laughs> awful. That was weird. I didn't expect the noise to come out. <laughs> also, I just imagine her like... <laughs> Eat all the donuts! The rec room door was open. And when I looked inside, I s saw, I saw. What did you see? I don't want to know. I don't want to know. Please don't kill fat guy. Don't do it, game. Don't do this to me. I better get the others, right? I'm going to go get them. You go on ahead, Makoto. Before I could say anything, she rushed down the stairs. The rec room? The rec room? What did she see in there? By this point, I was used to acting without thinking, so without thinking, I leapt into the rec room. Oh no! Oh boy! Oh, this moment, this moment is, has been in every single murder where it's black screen, and I know once I click that button, another person, I don't have to voice act anymore, and it's a good feeling, and hopefully it's one of them rough voices. <laughs> same time at the same time one of my friends could be dead or toko or bakugan <laughs> i ain't gonna lie to you folks i say that but when bakugan goes it's gonna be heartbreaking to me i'm gonna have like a, a love montage at the end oh it's better than what i could imagine oh you know i mean it, i mean slashy you a little you a little decked up but i'm gonna be honest with you girl I'm a little happy that you, first off, you're not a dead body. Remember that, Slessy. Also, I didn't like you that much. <laughs> sorry, sorry. I'm just saying, Slessy, right now, if Fat Guy did this to you, you had it coming. 
You had it coming. You had it coming. I haven't forgotten. I haven't forgotten. I'm like uh, one of the things that we never forget, which is kind of ironic. Elephant. I'm a freaking elephant. It was Celeste, and she was hurt. Hey, you want to play some pool? <laughs> what happened? What is that? Someone bopper with a mallet? What is this? <laughs> it looks like a big squeaky hammer. Oh, this case is getting better. You mean to tell me Celeste got beat with a squeaky hammer? I know it technically isn't a hammer. Like, that's supposed to be a hammer. But look at that freaking hammer. Does that look like a wooden hammer to you? No. Looks childproof. It's some kind of wooden hammer or something. Pretty strange design. There was something written on the head. Justice Hammer 1! <laughs> that is the hammer he attacked me with. <laughs> you got the justice, Celeste! I barely managed to avoid the blow, but I stumbled and fell. I now curse my lack of daily exercise. So, you were attacked with this? Justice Hammer 1? Mm, I wonder who could have bopped her with something called Justice Hammer 1. Did he also drink this alcohol? Looks like some decoration. I probably should talk to Slessy. I don't really see anything else. Slessy, what's going on? What's going on? I'm like shaking her. What's going on? I can hear my bones breaking with every shake. Makoto. Slessy, what happened? I was stupid. I got attacked. Attacked? By who? I am not sure. Some sort of strange man. Strange man? A suspicious person whose existence is so unusual, I can't help but call him strange. To be honest, that could be Taka or it could be Himafumi, but I feel like Taka would be a little more... Like, if he dressed up, she wouldn't notice. Himafumi if he dressed up. <laughs> I think... I'm gonna be honest, his size kind of gives him away. Without a doubt, it was some sort of strange, suspicious individual. And that man attacked me with the hammer on the ground there. Um. Uh. Makoto! Celeste! Oh, Goofy, thank God you're here. Gosh, guys, you look a bit of beaten up! Okay. I found Sakura! What? Celeste! What on earth happened here? See, I don't think uh, Sakura did it because I feel like if Sakura did it, her entire face would be like dented. <laughs> Apparently, she was attacked by some kind of strange man. Ah, mm. uh, strange man. <laughs> Tell us everything you can remember, Slessy. Be as detailed as you can. <sighs> well, I woke up this morning a little before 7 a.m. Nighttime was not yet over. But I knew it was about to end, so I decided it would be okay if I... Decided to take a little stroll around the first floor. I understand now that that was a mistake. Anyway, that is where I first saw the strange man. I was immediately wary of him. He was obviously suspicious, so I decided to follow after him in secret. As I follow, I saw him go into the rec room. I tried to peek through the gap in the door. Which is when he noticed me, and... Ugh. And that's when he you were attacked. It happened after 7 a.m., just after nighttime had ended. So if it happened just after 7 o'clock... Then that was just about an hour ago. Right when we were all meeting in the dining hall. The attack caused me to lose consciousness. Which would mean I was unconscious for about an hour. But... Well, I'm just glad you weren't hurt too badly. <sighs> I can't feel my arms, you skinny dummy! <laughs> that is because I begged and groveled for my life. Mm. You did? As for me... I told him I would do anything if he spared me. I offered to lick his boots, whatever it took. <laughs> I slide back that like whoa weirdo alert I see so you were willing to throw away all your pride indeed it is a necessary skill for survival anyway the important thing now is that we go search for the suspicious individual 
If we do not hurry, this could become a serious problem. Okay. Celeste, what do you mean a serious problem? Okay. When I looked in the rec room, I saw that the suspicious man was not alone. He had with him... Himafumi. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. spaghetti Celeste. Hey, she was a meanie to me. Oh, he, oh, she was. No, don't hit her with a hammer. Oh, God. Oh, jeez. Himafumi? <laughs> After he attacked me, he dragged Himafumi away. What? You mean Himafumi was kidnapped? Um... Oh, never mind. I thought Himafumi was, <laughs> was with him. Shouldn't we start looking for him then? Listen. Listen, Celeste, did anything in particular stand out about this strange guy? Did anything stand out? Well, uh, okay, here's, here's the thing. I'm just gonna bring this up right now. I don't trust you worth a diddly squat, Celeste. <laughs> this doesn't feel good, guys. This doesn't feel good. Here's how, here's what it feels like. Who's the one who loves some money? Celeste. Who's the one who would bullshit her own attack? Celeste. Like, I feel this is Celeste being her ultimate uh, bullshit artist to the max. I don't think she got attacked. I really don't. Or there was something we don't know about. Rather than trying to explain it, it would probably be faster if I simply showed you. Showed us? Oh, I should also mention that I feel like uh, Celeste is Celeste's ultimate plan to get that money and escape. That's what I'm trying to say. Like, she's gonna try to kill someone and or she tried to kill someone right now. Anyways, all right. Indeed. This is Himafumi's hand-me-down, his digital camera. You don't mean... Actually. I was able to photograph the suspicious individual without him realizing it. Huh? Seriously? Let's see it. <laughs> I would tell you not to be shocked, but I fear it would do you no good. With the strange comment in mind, we all looked at the camera. Oh, this changes everything. Oh, this changes the whole game, ladies and gents. Guys, guys, guys. I thought it was going to be like someone looked like a ninja. But well did I know. Optimus <laughs> Prime coming to give Celeste the old bopping of a lifetime. Hell yeah, this is great. What a great place to end for now, folks, because my voice is killing me. Hey, thanks for watching, everybody. I'm going to go high-five me some Optimus Prime. Oh, gosh, there's someone who's going to be dead. Don't do it, game. Don't do this to me. No!